wine, a new weapon for Israelis who want to protest against the slow pace of peace talks with Palestinians. They are boycotting wineries from West Bank settlements and making it difficult for Jewish vintners like Yaakov Berg to sell his award-winning wine. Big problems to sell our, our wine to restaurants also in Tel Aviv, not just overseas, also in Tel Aviv. And uh, because they say, you know what, it's coming from, uh, from Sagot Winery, from uh, behind the Green Line. Uh, we'll, maybe we'll have a problem with the customers. With Israel facing growing criticism from Europe over its settlement policies, this quieter, more informal campaign is taking place amongst Israelis themselves. And it goes beyond wine. Some academics and actors are refusing to cooperate with their colleagues or perform in theaters in the settlements. We need to show that there are people here that disagree with the settlements. Not everybody thinks this is okay. If a boycott is the way to do it, then we will show them and the government, and that's what we will do. But there are some Israelis that believe a boycott of Israeli products hurts their own country. I think that it doesn't show the world uh, a good side of us because uh, we have to be unified, especially in those days. And it doesn't, it doesn't do any good except from uh, maybe disencourage uh, Israeli economy. While the movement is still small scale and mostly limited to the fringe left wing, it's bringing serious domestic attention to the settlement issue that has been the biggest hurdle to finding peace with their Palestinian neighbors. Salim Saeed, Associated Press.